Hello, I'm Elian St. Hilaire, and in this short video, I want to show you about Mesh Central 2 news new um, Intel AMT IDE redirect feature. So, IDE redirect is this ability for AMT to make a floppy disk drive and a CD ROM disk drive show up on the remote computer, on the AMT computer, and then redirect that network traffic, that uh, disk traffic over the network to the console. So, Mesh Central supports that, and uh, here's a demo. And by the way, I consider that to be the most powerful feature of AMT because you can quickly reformat or um, reimage a computer remotely using this feature. So I'm going to select my trusty AMT 7 machine. If you have anything uh, above uh, 5, that should work. And I'm going to click on the Intel AMT tab. Then usually you, you click connect. I've already done it here, but you click connect and you are connected into AMT. I'm going to click on remote desktop and then um, click connect to get the remote view of the remote computer. Now you'll see there's two buttons on the upper bar here. There is ID redirect and what I call CIDR uh, is server side ID redirect. So I'm going to start with the local one. So I click on either and you get to pick a floppy disk and a CD-ROM and when to start. So the floppy disk, I'm going to pick a MS-DOS disk and CD-ROM, I'm going to pick a recovery disk that I have a small ISO image for the purpose of this demo. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and say gracefully start the session, say go. And then what happens, and you see it on the remote computer here, is that the CD-ROM just popped up and uh, a window it basically, uh, Windows Explorer just popped up with the content of that CD-ROM. And uh, just to make it clearer, I am going to switch over to uh, basically a little better resolution here, uh, better color depth on the remote desktop. And so now I have uh, remote uh, you know, ID redirects all running, and you'll see at the uh, top it says either session connected this is the number of bytes that have been coming in uh, usually serial ata commands you know basically scuzzy commands coming in and then out is the number of bytes coming fr going from the browser over to um, the remote amt now What's incredible about this is that the web page here is acting like a hard disk. So in JavaScript, there's all the code to respond to uh, SCSI commands, basically. And, uh, f you know, f so f the files that you've selected on your local hard disk, on this browser's hard disk, are now being served up as, um, as requested sector by sector. So there's also a thing called this map. You can click on that, and this will show little squares for each sector of the floppy or CD-ROM. In the case, in both cases, if the if there's a lot of sectors, then the uh, the blocks will um, basically map to bigger and bigger amounts of sectors depending. So here I have very small disk, disk a small floppy of small CD-ROM. So uh, each block is uh, a very small amount of, of bytes. Okay, and by the way, this is real time. So I can basically, um, while I have this running, I'm gonna open the floppy disk drive and you can see the sector reads here on the floppy drive. And as I go down, I can, you know, I don't know, I can edit stuff like I'll edit this batch file. There you go, batch file popped up and, and so on. So this is an old MS-DOS disk. But um, the other thing that's funny is the color here so uh, as it gets darker it progressively it's because it's the sector has been red multiple times in a row so very dark spots of you know red like four or five times and the lighter spots are places where it's been just red once so that's good and i can go into cd-rom here and i don't know i can copy files now uh, in this case uh, the file has been copied in this case the uh, the CD-ROM has been cached, so it didn't hit the, the CD-ROM drive here. But uh, but normally, when you you copy files from CD-ROM, uh, you'll see a lot of you know color being painted here. Okay, so that's good. And then uh, I can toggle the disk map by pressing this button and stop either right here. And when you stop either, you see the window just closed over there, 
because the CD-ROM disappeared. Um, now another thing I want to show you is that so the way I did it using the either button you can select local files on your local computer where the browser is running and and serve them up obviously all the sector reads are going to go through uh, from AMT through the server to your browser and then back so if if you're over an internet connection uh, this can you know lead to a lot of of delay because uh, this is very sensitive to latency if you have a long uh, high latency network then you'll have you know a lot of time between sector reads and so on so another option you have is uh, the server either and so this allows you to tell the server tell mesh central to serve a file to d perform uh, id redirect from the server to amt directly um, now in order to do this you'll notice that i need to pick a disk image for floppy or CD-ROM and it says none here on on both of them and that's because I don't have any uh, disk images on the server right now so what you do is you close this and then you go to my files my uh, the uh, and by the way you go on my files on the server so you need to have this my files tab and then there's different groups but there's the my files folder here and then what you do is you gr grab your images so you know isos or img file you drag and drop them and then you upload them to the server so now they're in my folder here they can be in a sub directory that's all, all, all right too and then when i go back to this machine now when i do serial um, either uh, server either then you'll see that the files uh, msdos.image image and recovery.iso they now show up on this menu and i can click ok so now it says server either and the server is projecting uh, the uh, the the disk drive over to the uh, amt machine so the traffic is you know much is reduced because now it's amt to the server and back not amt to the server to the browser and back so it goes faster now the the thing that's interesting is that even though it's on done on the server, the server still sends real time information as to what sector is being read on the image and what how many bytes are you know in and out. So for example, here I can double click on the floppy disk drive, and you'll see the the pattern here, the strike pattern, as the the floppy drive is being read and Obviously, my browser is not responding. It's just the server sending me the um, the the play-by-play -play of which sector is being uh, written or read, and um, and I see it in the browser. And like before, I can toggle this. I can hit stop either, and if I hit stop either, you'll see that the windows close correctly. So that's it. That's a quick demonstration of the probably the most powerful feature of AMT, which is uh, the IDE redirect feature being done in Mesh Command in Mesh Central using both a local image and an image served from the server. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you.